that daytime high, 13 degrees with beautiful sunshine. Uh, quite possibly the nicest day so far of the spring. From 299 Queen Street West, this is Toronto's breaking news. CP24, good afternoon. Indeed, I'm Gritty Balawalia, your uh, forecast coming up in moments. But first to our top story, a big crowd is gathering at Young Dundas Square this afternoon to send a message to City Hall. CP24's George Lagajanis is there with a look at what this rally is all about. George? Thanks very much, Gritty. Well, the SEAL band's playing, and there's another rally, another political rally happening here now that, that uh, this... Uh, uh, labor rally has made its way to uh, Nathan Phillips Square. For the most part, people have left Dundas Square now, but they were here in the thousands, maybe as many as 7,000 people, marching all under the banner of respect. Respect for jobs, for the public service, and to not privatize everything. Now, they actually laid out a manifesto of six points, including things like the TTC making it available to everyone, more libraries, child care and rec centers, uh, environmental leadership, public control of garbage collection, City Hall to safeguard Toronto community housing, and City Hall to respect good jobs for all. Now I'm joined by Krishna Saravanamutu, who is the president of the York University Student Federation. Did I get that right? York Federation of Students. Thank you very much, Krishna. Now, from your perspective, um, is there an existential threat to young people, to this generation, because of what's happening at City Hall? Well, absolutely. At York University, uh, I represent over 50,000 undergraduate students, and about 60% of them are commuter students who do rely upon public transit uh, to get to school, to get to work, to meet their family and religious commitments. Uh, and, and, and these students come from a context where today they're straddled with the highest amount of tuition fees uh, in Canadian history. They're graduating with the highest amount of debt in Canadian history. Uh, and so really this underscores the point that they do rely on public transit to get around the the city uh, to get to school and get to work and uh, the reason we're here today is because we're demanding genuine consultation from our city administration from Mayor Ford uh, unfortunately in the past four months that Mayor Ford uh, has been in office he has cut 41 bus routes uh, which has a direct impact on tens of thousands of students across the city uh, he has cut the proposed plan or at least he's threatening the plan for the light rail transit system uh, which would have been built along Finch uh, West uh, Finch West is the most congested and most overcrowded bus route in the entire city About 46,000 uh, workers, students, community members rely upon that route every day to get around the city. Uh, and on top of that, he's unfortunately cut uh, the proposed LRT in the Scarborough region that would have went from Malvern all the way up to the University of Toronto Scarborough campus. And all of this happened uh, in the backdrop of a lack of consultation, of a lack of genuine engagement. And that's what we're here asking for today. This is democracy in action. Do you think it's naive that, that anything's really going to happen from today's event? Where do you go from here? Well, well, you know what? Uh, there's no denying that. All right, uh, we're coming back. Uh, stay with CP24 for continuing coverage of the rally. A uh, full roundup of the federal election is coming up in just a few minutes. CP24.